Hi Phoenix here. Welcome back guys. Today we will be discussing the hero screen. You access the hero screen by pressing the letter P on your keyboard and this screen will then appear. On the left you have your general statistics, your name, your level, the title, the amount of XP you have, ID, the amount of leadership you have, strength, agility, armor, toughness. Then you have the button over here which displays all your attributes, how much HP you have, stamina, your damage, armor penetration and defense. You can also reset your primary skill points or attribute points and you can reset it for free. And this is what your character looks like. You hold in the left mouse button and you can turn it around. On the right you have your arm and your weapon displayed. This button over here lets you repair a single item. This button over here lets you repair all of them. Now in the weapon slots and armor slots there are these little blocks on the side now those are for ruins which you can apply but i haven't unlocked ruins yet so that's that's for a later video then this button over here obviously lets you apply the ruins let's move on to the next one on the next tab we have the stats for your mount or mounts there's the name all the stats for the horse that you currently have now you'll see here the, is these blocks and these will be for your different horses. Now you can have more than one because in a battle if one gets killed you'd have to have another one to be able to use your horse again. The little flag by the picture of the horse lets you know that this is your default mount and on the right would be the armor for your horse. These two buttons works the same as with the hero buttons repairs for a single item repair all is for all the items the next tab is your attire now this is got to do with outfits and costumes and weapon skins and armor skins that you can get the button over here is for your hero's armor this one over here is for the weapon and this one over here is for the mount Going back to the hero, if you go and click in one of these blocks here, your available attire will show up in these blocks here. And the, the same works for the weapon and for the mount. Now you'll see here at the bottom you can buy attires with sovereigns, which is the game's in-game currency which you use to buy outfits, units. This is currency that you have to spend real money on to obtain. Then on the emotes tab, all the emotes that you would have un unlocked would be here. Okay, you can move your character around as well. The first button here would be for emotes that you have. The second one is for commands that you can give during a battle. And you can assign this to specific points on your wheel here. This is default, these ones here. You can change them as you see fit and you would just right click to remove it and then you choose something else you can preview it then the next tab would be your skills now this is where you're going to be spending a lot of time because you're obviously going to need to upgrade your skills and obtain ultimate skills here's the different weapons that you can choose from and you'll note that they have all of them have a lock except short sword and shield as you progress or as you gain levels you'll be able to choose other weapons now on the right here is your mastery points the top one represents mastery points that you obtain by using the weapon and the bottom one will be mastery points that you gain from pvp battles open world battles now you can use the skill points to unlock skills but you earn a lot more mastery points than skill points now as you gain mastery points you'll be able to unlock all the different skills and over here would be where you assign your skills to a certain button on your keyboard and the last tab is just a summary of all the events that you've done throughout your game now obviously this is a fresh account so there's absolutely nothing going on here 
in the middle would be achievements so anything that any achievements that you've gone that you've gotten would be in here summary achievements as a summary achievements for your units unit technology and so forth as you scroll down there's lots of different categories here this is all just for statistical purposes okay and then heroics these are all the badges that you would earn note that you can get badges for accomplishing certain things in a battle for example no quarter badge you have to defeat five enemy heroes in a, in a row in a battle now that can be expeditions sieges field any type of battle mode would be acceptable for this one some of them are, are specific to certain types of battles others are not okay guys that's uh, all the elements in the hero screen uh, that would be the end of this uh, video for now if you have any uh, questions any comments please leave them down below and we'll address it if you like the video please click on the like button if you'd like to be informed of any more videos that i'll be uploading every week every thursday please click on the subscribe button and uh, yes guys enjoy the gaming season nine's coming up hope to see you guys out there later